Hello guys! Welcome to Soil Science channel at YouTube. I'm Stukense and today uh, we will evaluate and make a very big overview of uh, Decade of Soils. Decade of Soils is initiative uh, of the International Union of Soil Sciences and uh, this decade uh, already is ongoing uh, from 2015 till 2024 year. So let's have a look at this decade and let's have a look what has happened uh, at this decade and why it is uh, so important. So first of all, let's have a look at the International Union of Soil Scientists. Hello! This union um, proposed to make this decade uh, and it was not um, um, just, you know, uh, some um, coincidence. Uh, this international union was founded uh, on 19th May of 1924, so almost 100 years ago. And is, as you can see, the international decade of soils uh, uh, will be finished at the same year when uh, the international union will celebrate uh, 100 year anniversary. So it's really big story and let's have a look precisely what's going on internationally and uh, um, what are results so far. So um, the first idea why, uh, why they uh, decided to make this decade, uh, soil scientists from all over the world uh, set together and find out that obviously soil is very important <laughs> and why it is so important. Uh, they made a declaration um, where they find out four main points why soil is so important to humanity. It was important, it is important for society, health, environment and soil is like a resource. So, so very important uh, for society because uh, soil is like a land for create buildings, for um, have farms on the soil. So, of course, it is very, very important for society. Soil also important for health because health is depend on nice food and uh, healthy food. And we grow, still we grow majority of our food depending on the soil quality and soil resources. Of course, soil is a very, very important part of environmental globally. We have a lot of issues with climate change. We have, have a lot of issues with um, uh, biodiversity and all this stuff. And soil is a very, very important part of this global uh, global cycles and glo global intercourse of environment. And of course, soil is a resource, is a resource like a new, um, mineral resource, organic resource. Humus is also a resource for creating fertility for future society. So, um, pointing out these four very important points of the soil, International Union decided to create international decade of soil. And first of all, uh, the first step of this decade, it was to create uh, the logo of this decade. So you can see this logo. Let's have a look at this logo. As you can see, there are worms, there are layers, uh, different colors of layers, and you can see topsoil, uh, which, which is more dark brown, you can see uh, layers of soil and also you can see very cute small grass on the soil. So how do you like this logo? And this is E-U-S-S. -S. Oh yeah, uh, the worms, they make uh, the name of the International Union of Soil Science. Oh, very cute. I like this logo, by the way, I think it's very creative and cute. How do you like this logo? Uh, write me down in your comments. So it was first step. What uh, can what uh, happened next? Let's have a look. Uh, wow, uh, International Union of Soil Science decided to make five uh, main activities during the decade of soils, and these activities are public outreach. So, what is about public outreach is about uh, making um, 
publicity of soil for very uh, wide and broad um, public. Uh, for instance, to create soil, um, so-called soil ambassadors, which can produce soil materials for uh, very, very broad um, categories of people who previously maybe was not um, interested in soils, maybe didn't have knowledge about soils. So uh, to make wide public outreach about soil. Next step is education. And the main focus of this education was on the children and uh, school education. Of course, there is um, a lot of educational programs, uh, professional educational pro programs for soil scientists worldwide. But what is most important, and actually I agree, uh, that it is really important to make uh, educational programs for teenagers for those who will choose their professions very soon and how we can find uh, a lot of interested soil scientists professionally interested soil scientists this is happen only when you interested in soil science why well while you're a teenager while you're at school and you feel that this soil is important and you want to have professional education in this field and then you can come to the university and um, have this degree Next, uh, spreading of expert, inf expert information of soil. Uh, this third part of uh, activity of International Union of Soil Science for me is very, very important because uh, spreading information for expert and expert information to the government, uh, to the business uh, owners, stakeholders and other parts is super important and I feel a really big lack of professional soil information uh, systems and databases and uh, communities that can provide um, professional soil information worldwide. So this is very important. Also, we have soil book series. It's, of course, very cool idea to have nice, colorful and up to date books about soil of course very cool and uh, five um, it's a personal biographies while okay it's maybe a cool idea too because i would like to read for instance uh, maybe extended um, biography of the kuchayev <laughs> and it will be interesting i guess with pictures uh, with some kind of maybe uh, interviews of the people who know who knew him or who worked with him and to make it uh, like a book i think it will be cool and also not about only about the kuchayev about um, the soil scientists who work right now in different parts of different fields of soil science so i think it's very very interesting ideas so let's have a look what was realized because the ideas really cool um having decade of, of soil is super fun and i was really excited at first when i saw that soil scientists all over the world uh, not only have international year of soil science it was uh 2015 ma uh, made it by unesco and uh, international community but now we have decade so let's have a look what have been done uh, let's see, uh, after uh, at the beginning of the decade uh, 2015 was created, the logo of decade, we come to the next year, 2016, hooray, and we have Latin American project, which is called Das uh, Soils of My Nation, hmm, it sounds very, very intriguing and interesting. And uh, there was information that this is a huge Latin American foundation, which uh, the aim was to create a friendship uh, and to create like social media for soil scientists who, was, uh, who are going to share information, something really, really big. And we see hashtags like El Suelo es Vida, la la la, and the soil is life is English hashtag. So I decided to check out what uh, is going on with this project. I um, googled this project and suddenly I didn't find uh, a lot of information because, okay, maybe this is only a 
Latin American project and everything is in Spanish because I, I do not know Spanish well, so I couldn't find it. If you have information, please share with me. But what I find that if you Google uh, the English hashtag, the soil is life hashtag, you will find only a uh, few, <laughs> few um, videos or documents that is related to this project so uh, and uh, this one of this video was my video which i created in russian for my russian uh, channel about soil science and this is a little bit uh, sad because when you uh, see this huge project which announced and you see this big initiative and you see this nice uh, words like we create something huge and we will share information all over the world and then after several years of this project you google this project and you can't find anything this is very sad then i um, checked other uh, hashtag like as well as Vida and I found several um, tweets so there are in Twitter some some things going on but you can't find any special website or social media or YouTube channel so it was really difficult for me to find anything reliable so let's have a look uh, what we have next we have a very nice uh, thing that would that was happened in 2000 17 so one year later um scientists created a calendar calendar so ca calendar uh this calendar was created by a uh, poland uh in society of soil scientists and this calendar is nice i like it <laughs> it's cool but you know when I uh, was thinking, so the whole year of international decade of soil science and uh, what we created only one cal calendar of, with uh, pictures of soil. Well, it's cool. <laughs> I like this calendar, but you see, uh, it's not enough, I get, I guess. So I didn't find anything rel related to international decade of soil science during this year. I googled, I tried to find no information maybe there was some workshops made maybe there was some seminar i have no idea because uh, in the internet you can't find anything so that's what i find and so please tell me uh, do you like this calendar i think it's cool and i think it's a cool idea to create calendars with uh, the pictures of soil or with a soil scientist so maybe it's you will take this idea and also create a calendar like that so let's have a look uh, at the next results of the decade of soil science. Wow, we have uh, came to the year of uh, current year, it's um, 2018. And in the present, <laughs> we uh, had the global soil icon contest. This is super cool idea, very creative. I myself an artist and I like to drawing and illustrating something. So this I like the most <laughs> of the whole uh, international decade so far. So this was a global contest with the prize uh, for the winner. And uh, the idea was to create the logo of soil. So how can you uh, picture the soil this is super cool because uh the just normal person there was not only soil scientist just general person everyone can um apply to this contest uh, you just apply a picture and you apply short story about this picture and why you created this picture and some kind of description and this is uh, what you see is the winner of this contest and this winner is from brazil and as you can see, uh, the soil described like a globe, um, very humanity oriented. So like a soil is something very important for humans. And you see colorful uh, feet on the uh, soil, on this globe of soil, like, like a global soil. And you see blue like a water, green like a green grass or organic and you can see rock so uh, sun uh, yellow is the sun so it's a very very cool idea uh, and very anthropocentric idea 
like uh, sometimes uh, we, we like to make all these com com uh, concepts anthropocentric and it's not bad thing i guess so the logo is quite nice how do you like it please tell me in the comment um this winner got the prize i think it was several thousands of euro if i'm not confusing something but th this is it it is cool this is what we have in the 19 uh in the 20 uh, uh 2018 year let's have a look what we have next uh we have uh, the soil book series as was mentioned before um it was published for four books was published it's a soil and uh, sustainable development uh nexus of soil plants animal human health this one so four books you can find these books at the website of the international union of soil scientists and four books for about four years i think it's good it's one book per year and this book as far as i know very up to date with very very cool and current information they published in a very beautiful way with pictures so i think uh books is cool so if we will evaluate um the, the results so far of the uh this decade uh, books will get good score uh what else do we have so um actually those were results so far and uh, now i want to summarize these results and give some kind of scores and evaluate how i how i think um, public outreach was done or educational or all other kind kind of stuff and uh, let me show you before we will continue let me show the website of the international union of soil scientists so this is the website where you can find uh, more information or uh, everything like related to books or other other stuff uh, but what i would like to show you we are at the uh, website and let's make uh, you see it's 100 um, percent of the view of this screen and i cannot see the full website so it's just very annoying because i would like to read the website and what i see i see menu which is here and then i see the website which is down there but the website have to be here on this place obviously but it's not here but look if you make uh it 90 still not good 80 percent wow it works perfectly so please webmasters of the website of international union of soil scientists please <laughs> fix this very annoying bug because you cannot just enjoy the website you cannot enjoy the information while you have to change the resolution of your screen so it's not good um at this website you can find all this more information and uh, this information in the section of international decade of soils so you see international decade and all these documents and more information about this stuff so let's have a look at the results um for instance public outreach is not good at all <laughs> because you know guys uh, my personal opinion how you can find um now information information about soils of course you can uh, watch movie you can watch news you can watch tv television but most of the people nowadays use internet and most of uh, young people they use youtube for instance this is the big huge new social media and when you try to find anything soil related at the youtube at the internet of course you can find some um, files you can find some videos but of course it's not enough and i tried to google uh, decade of soil i tried to google some new coming soil uh, films there is not much uh, most of the soil related videos are quite old um, and most of them um, produced by business companies um the huge international companies they create nice 
films about soil, but these films related to the uh, products of these companies. So they promote themselves. They do not promote science in general. So uh, it's not enough, of course, and uh, public outreach uh, for me for me have to use uh, YouTube as a main source of uh, sp spreading all kind of public general information about cells. So it's not good enough. Education. Well, uh, it's very difficult to evaluate educational purpose for me because I don't know anything about school programs. There is not much information at the website. There is no information about how many uh, school seminars was provided or whatever. I tried to Google it. It's very difficult to find the statistics or data. But what I know about Russia that all uh, educational initiative which is going on in Russia, they are not related anyhow to decade of soils. So I don't know why it's happening, but we have some um, educational programs for uh, teenagers, for school, for, for the school in general. But I have no idea that it was anyhow related to decade of soils. It's just, just ongoing activity. It was... Yeah, 10 years ago it is now so nothing changed and I would like to ask you about your country do you have anything uh, have anything in soil related happening in school right now because of course in Russia we do not have um, a lot of you know school programs um, I attended when I was at school I attended one uh, seminar soil seminar it was very boring uh, there was not much um, colorful um, uh, materials everything was really quite old school old-fashioned and boring and you do not didn't feel like soil science is cool and so is interesting so I think education have to be colorful interesting uh, very uh, a lot of you know things that you can touch see uh, try like a small maybe a research I don't know like that um, dissemination of information is uh, sharing the professional information well I guess that uh, something happening in this field uh, there is uh, a lot of not a lot of but some professional centers of soil information but still these centers of soil information do not produce any understandable product so you cannot just come to the website of the soil proper of the soil company or the soil i don't know institute and um, you cannot understand what kind of information you can get as a person or as a business holder or as a government it's very everything is not clear and there is not much understandable uh, processes of how you can easily get this or other kind of soil information so this of course has to be improved uh, soil book series is quite cool i like the book which was published for uh, one book per year so at the end of the decade we will have 10 books or uh, new books about soil it's cool but for me it's very important to produce more um, books uh, which is you know let's have let's move here more books uh like educational books like general books because the books that was published um, at the uh dec decade at the uh, this among these four books um, there is not much educational tutorials for the new come soil scientist let's have a look at the picture we see the main um textbook about soil in russia it's a uh, at the left side and at the United States. So you see, these books are very old, but still, these classic books, these are classic textbooks for soil scientists. In Russia, we have soil science, um, two books of soil science uh, from Kovde Rozanov. Um, in America, in the United States, we have a very cool, very classic textbook, The Nature of and Properties of Soil uh, by Brady and Whale. But these books were published a very long time ago. Why uh, wouldn't you create something like this? Maybe you will republish these books. 
uh, make more colorful pictures and you make these books available to the international community. So I think that uh, it is important to make uh, books on different topics of soil science, but it is more important to create up to date, to create really um, modern uh, general textbook about general soil science. So those uh, teenagers um, which will be interested in soil science and we will come to the university, they will take this textbook and they will be happy, they will be satisfying because this textbook will be interesting, colorful and cool. So I think this is very, very important. And personal biographies. Um, at the website of the International Union of Soil Science, I found only one biography which was done so far it's of course not enough it's only one biography of one particular soil scientist and i think it's really big fail because there is so much interesting personalities in the soil science and uh, all over the world uh, th th there's huge uh, big interesting things going on and uh, this is really, really big fail of uh, this uh, decade of soil because um, you can create interviews, video interviews. You can create uh, photo, a lot of photos, photo books, stories. I don't know, so many things. And I'm really looking forward to see more biographies and to see more interesting um, publications about this topic. So, guys... Uh, from the decade uh, of soil, uh, let's um, move to very interesting uh, part, r really interesting result, which might be, um, might be um, a little bit connected to the decade of soil. But what I found out that at the New York Times, it's a very, uh, very well-known newspaper, recently, like uh, several months ago, you see April 24th, of, um, 2018 and in July 25 of 2018 we see publications about soils and um, I don't know is there any um, these publications are they related to decade of soil or not but it's very very interesting um, point because uh, previously at the New York Times there was some kind of soil related posts but it was uh, maybe three or, I don't know, four years ago, so it was a very long time ago. Then it was silent topic for a long time, and now we see some kind of activity, and that's cool. So maybe we have to say thank you to the International Year of Soil Science, maybe we have to say thank you for the International Decade of Soil Science, but this is uh, the result of public outreach. I think this is one of the result of public outreach, so it's cool. Um, and let's have a look at uh, the last uh, very important, very, very important um, result of so-called dissemination of information. And I said that it's uh, the producing professional information for soil scientists. And the very, very important result, maybe it is connected to decade of soil science. I don't know, have no idea because there is no uh, connection on the websites. But I think it is very important that uh, we can see a new, brand new, open access journal about soil science. Um, you can see it right now, it's a website. And this is uh, uh, the journal, this is peer to review, uh, scientific, international, open access uh, journal on professional soil science publications. And you can uh, free have free open access to the publications. It's so cool because, guys, says if you are in science, let's, by the way, let's have a look at the website. And if you're a professional source or soil scientist or you work at the science anyhow, you know that uh, most of the professional publications are paid right now. You cannot have uh, free, full access to the publications. And it's hilarious. It's really bad thing but this initiative is uh, very good for international soil science community so uh, this is rapid publication recognition of reviewers 
this the website of journal and what we can see latest articles um, products of hex valiant chromium reduction assessment of soil fertility la 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 so there is all these uh, websites are available so please check uh, the website if you are interested so guys that was it thank you very much for attention i hope you like this video and i hope you like um, my uh, overview of uh, our overview of um, decade of soil science and you enjoyed this uh, video please let me know in the comments what do you think uh, what do you uh, do in general maybe you're a soil scientist maybe you just a uh, person who are interested in soil science anyway um hope to see uh, to see you in our next video subscribe to our channel and please uh, share this video with your friends at facebook on other social media show this to your friends because i think it's really interesting and uh, everybody should understand what's going on in our field what's going on for real in soil science so see you in my next video bye